Hi, I'm Rohan Bafna. I'm a second year student with Aaron's VIP Retrofuturistic Hardware. And this past semester, I've been working on the Retcom 87, which is a homebrew computer based on the 65816 CPU. And specifically, what I've been working on is to try to get some sort of runtime uh, environment where you can type in programs. And the language I used to uh, implement that was Forth. And so I learned a lot about how Forth is implemented and how it can be used to write complex programs. The Rectum 87 is connected to this serial program called EZSXP. And I've taken the time to write out the program that runs Forth to RAM, or if I click on this JML button to jump to address 300, it says that Forth booted successfully. And what you have right now is a prompt. You can press some stuff. The output method for fourth here is through a serial interface, but the input comes from a PS2 keyboard. So I sort of half implemented uh, a serial and half implemented something external. And later on, I want to try to see if I can move this to its own video chip that outputs to a TV so you can run it entirely without a computer. But for now, uh, we can just run a simple program. So the basic way you can do something like addition and fourth, you type in the two numbers and you type in the operation you want to do that, and it's added one and two, put it on the stack, and I can print out the top number in the stack by typing dot, and it prints out three. If you can do a simple hello world, pro a hello world program by using the dot paren word, and then closing it off another paren, and if I print this out, it says hello world. You can make more complicated programs, so fourth sort of key feature is that you can compile words with the colon word. So I can create a word name, uh, named, uh, I don't know, three, which simply returns three on the stack, close it off the semicolon. And now if I type in three, I can examine the stack with dot s. And it has one element, and that element is three. I can type more times. and print this out to clear the stack. And then you can do more complex things. So fourth has words that the compiler will execute, and that's how you get stuff like control flow. So if, do, uh, while, etc. Maybe I'll do this. I'll, 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 I'll write a word using three to print something out to the screen three times. And the way you can do that was, is with the do word. So I can do hi, hi, hi. This is what I'm going to call this. It's going to run three or Sorry. Annoying okay. thing is backspace sends a backspace here to the terminal, but easy SXP does not show. The oh, OK. Just as a box. So right, so right now you have to type things perfectly. Uh, or keep track of like count characters. So oh, backspace works. So it's, your fourth if, implementation knows it's backspacing. You can't really see it properly on the terminal. Yeah, which is part of the reason why I want to move this to an external monitor, because I can just right. clear the character and go back to the cell. Yeah, so I think next semester, a uh, cool project you and other students working on this would be to basically write a BIOS that can then move characters around on the screen using the TMS 9118 board that I made. That would be very cool to use. OK, okay. Let's, let's see if I can do this. I'll make a word called uh, hi. OK. And you'll notice that I did not type in capital letters last time, and that's because I forgot to implement caps lock. So I have to remember not to type in caps lock because it won't work. And this high word will simply print high to the screen. OK. So if I type in high, it says high. And I can try to make a word that does high three times. I'll call it just A that says three, one, or is it zero? I'll do one to or do, and then I can execute the word that I want to do, hi, and then loop. And if I type this, then it prints a, uh, hi twice because I got the index messed up. I can redefine words. So I'll change that one to a zero. And now, and if I do this, now prints it three times, and you also have the capability to do stuff like conditionals. So maybe on the third one, I don't print high, I print by. So B, three, zero, 
do. And I look at the current index i, and I say, okay, is it equal to three? If that is true, print out by. Otherwise, it's tricky to keep for me to look at this and start thinking in reverse Polish notation. Yeah, that is one of those things that you just have to get used to in programming forth. And actually, there's a mistake with this. <laughs> there's, I shouldn't have typed in three. I should have typed in two because that's going to be the last index. Oh, no. I'll have okay. to retype all of this again. Uh, this is this is why I really want to just use something that's not serial. Okay, let's try this again. Three, zero, do, I, two equals... If by and forth syntax is really weird, if and else you might recognize from other programming languages, so otherwise I'll do hi. And then the way you close it off is with then. So then means end of if. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, I could have changed it in my implementation to be something else, but I decided, yeah, I'll stick with. Hey, yeah, stay <laughs> consistent with whatever the fourth standard is. Yeah. And now if I run B, then it prints Hi, hi, bye, with no spaces in between because it didn't tell it to put spaces. That is awesome. And to be clear, this isn't a fourth that you found on GitHub and then downloaded, right? No. You wrote this from scratch. Yeah, and fourth is almost always implemented from scratch. It's very close to the hardware, so you you can't just like, I mean, I guess if you have found a fourth in, a, in the same CPU, you could port it to this. But the idea is... Fourth is very intimately connected with the way your computer is, your CPU, your memory, memory map. You need to arrange everything yourself, but it's also very easy to do. And there are plenty of models I could find, but all of the code that I wrote is handwritten. And it's one of those things that is much easier than it looks like, but still very fun to see when it actually gets working. And there's still a lot that I want to do with this. And hopefully next semester, I'll have <laughs> tons of time to, to really flesh this out. So is this classified as an interpreter or a compiler or some hybrid? Oh, that is a very interesting question. So, you know, lots of programming languages can't be classified as an interpreter or a compiler. Like even something like Python, everyone says interpreted. Really, there's a lot of compilation going on behind the scenes. It compiles bytecode and then executes it, but all on the fly. And that's kind of like what Forth does. So this colon word here, is what fourth people call a compiler. And it's called a compiler because it saves the words that it reads onto a little data structure called the dictionary uh, and so that you can run them later. But at the same time, everything that you type in is interpreted. So it is, in a sense, both at the same time. Or perhaps another way to say it is compilation and interpretation are semantic words that occupy a level above what fourth actually does, which is it just maintains a dictionary of words it knows and executes words. But it's implemented in such a way that what you get is something that acts remarkably like an interpreter and also sometimes a compiler. You wrote a fourth interpreter, compiler, whatever you want to call it, yeah. in one semester on top of figuring out how to get interrupt-driven PS2 keyboard protocol working with this development board. That's amazing. I will say that I only got that done because of Ben Eater's video on the PS2 keyboard protocol that explained uh, a lot. Ben Eater's awesome. So <laughs> when when do you graduate? I, I, I don't know when I graduate. I, I, I have not been keeping track of this, but probably in a year or a year in a semester. Okay, so folks, if you're looking for a good programmer, get in touch with Rohan, because this is amazing. Sounds good. Okay, anything else you wanted to add to the discussion here? This is very impressive. I'd like to see what complex programs you can come up with that are written in fourth. This is by no means an implementation of any standard fourth, but I have tried to stick with words that are implemented in most standards, and I, I still need to add a lot more and, and you know make really capable to write larger programs if that is something I want to do. But you know, I would be very excited to see what, what programs... Any well, of you viewers? I'd always wondered yeah. how, because back in the day, BASIC was sort of the standard for home computers. Yeah. It was and a computer that used fourth. Uh, it didn't do very well on the market because the thing about interpreted BASIC is it was slow. Yeah. So I'm thinking if more computers had used fourth as the standard, then people would have been able to write faster programs. Although the programming is a bit of a, uh, 
mind stretcher to figure out how to write and forth. But I imagine a lot of things, once you get used to it, becomes more natural. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm actually kind of surprised that fourth was so unpopular to use because it was very easy, actually, to get everything working. If I, I feel like had I tried to write a basic interpreter instead, it would have been very buggy and ad hoc. But I guess in fourth, buggy yeah. and ad hoc is sort of ingrained so much into the language that you just <laughs> accept everything because it's so simple. Well, the basic, the parsing would be trickier. Yeah. Okay, this sounds great. Thank you so much. 